we are, uh, as I said, waiting on him. And as we wait for that, I want to go right now to Jerusalem uh, to our very own correspondent there, Jordan Powell of Fox News. Uh, forgive me, Connell. Connor Powell, um, you know, this is, as we've been saying, a very powerful bomb, Connor. If you compare this to what we sent over into Syria, the Tomahawk missiles are 1,000 pounds each. This is 21,600 pounds. What kind of damage can it do? So this bomb, this Moab, as they describe it, it's a massive ordnance air blast. It's designed specifically to penetrate into underground caverns, into tunnels. And that's exactly what the Pentagon and Afghan officials that we were just talking to uh, here in the last few minutes are saying. This area was used by ISIS uh, to attack both uh, U.S. and Afghan forces in the area. It's a series of tunnels and caves, much like what you heard um, back in 2001 that Osama bin Laden was using the Tor Bora region uh, as his sort of base of operations. Operations there. This is a really cavernous area, and this Moab, this 21,000 pound device, was used specifically there because of these tunnels and these caves. It's very different than what we saw used in Syria, which were these Tomahawk uh, cruise missiles. Uh, they're really uh, specifically there to pinpoint. The Moab has about a one mile blast radius. We were talking to Afghans who said they could hear it from miles and miles away, they could feel it from miles away. This was a really big blast that really was to target and to take out the entire cave system, not just a specific entrance or area. This was really to sort of wipe the entire area off the map. Afghans that we just talked to are saying that this is an area that was known to have a significant ISIS presence there. It's not a civilian area. They don't uh, describe it as having any towns or little villages there. It really is up in the mountains and a lot of caves and a lot of bunkers, Trish. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, thank you so much, Connor. We appreciate the update.